Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to create essentially a soundboard app um, using the built-in XDK sound tools. Uh, so let's get started. Where's my mouse? Okay, so first we're going to get started over here. Um, we're going to use a template for today, um, a blank. I'm going to use the app designer and uh, then we're going to click continue. Uh, see user blah blah. Uh, enter a working name. I'm gonna just gonna call it Soundboard. Uh, we're gonna hit create. Okay, I'm not gonna do the tour. No, thank you. Uh, and I'm gonna choose Bootstrap for today just because. Uh, most of the stuff that you're gonna learn in this project, you won't really need one. Um, one different type of uh, app over another. Uh, the core things that we're going to do are gonna be done in code. Uh, so the big thing is once you've created your app, go back to the very first tab up here, up to where it says XDK projects and click on that. That'll take you to the entry screen. Now this is where you can set up your build targets and you can set up um, what sort of things you're, like what plugins you're um, putting into your app. So in under plugin management, we're going to expand that. And then you'll see there's add plugins to this project. We're going to click on the plus and add pr plugins. Under custom Intel XDK plugins, you'll see there's a player at the bottom. Uh, and you'll see it says Intel XDK player for playing audio files. We're going to add that plugin. And it's going to go out and grab some plugin stuff and do that. Okay. Uh, and now I'm also going to set up our build settings while I'm here. So the next thing I'm going to expand is build settings. And I'm just going to set this to com.eguant.soundboard. Um, borf. There we go. Soundboard. Uh, app name is soundboard. Um, and plays sounds. There we go. Uh, author, I'm just gonna put my handle on there, Egoant, and that's good enough for now. Um, now we're gonna go back into the develop tab. And again, once you've set up all these things, you can type in the app ID, the usual uh, thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna type in uh, your domain name in reverse. So, um, uh, you know, my website is egoant.com, so I do com.egoant and then the app name. It's just the easiest way to go about it. Um, so next we're going to go into the develop tab and I'm going to add a button. So I'm just going to drag this button over onto here. Um, and there you can see I've got a button, uh, using bootstrap. I'm going to put the label on it as, um, I don't know, laser, uh, and then size default style primary. So using the app generator you can also then just down at the bottom right here and uh, you know i might have to move myself around a bit let's slide this so whoop all right there we go so down at the bottom right uh right next to my picture here you can see i've got trigger and action so button laser action is not set i'm going to open that up and go custom script and then you'll see just below it <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm covering it again, right there, right there. See, meep, meep, meep. so that says edit script. So I'm gonna click on that edit script. And now I can expand it again because you'll be able to see everything. So you can see here, register event handlers and document on click. And that's just the buttons ID. Uh, that's just assigned in the editor. Now this is generally the same no matter what type of app you're setting up. Um, but if we go back to the projects tab and back into plugin management, if you expand that Intel XDK player, you'll see that there's actually a get documentation button and that's really handy. So I'm gonna click on that and you'll see that it opens up to the Intel XDK player um, GitHub page. And the first thing we're gonna look for is Intel XDK player load sound. I'm just gonna copy that right in. 
and you would do that right when you're registering the event handlers. The first parameter is the sound URL. Um, and I'm going to put in audio slash laser dot wave. Uh, and now the count, uh, the next parameter defines how many times the sound can be playing concurrently. So if I set that to 10, you could potentially have 10 lasers. Oh, bye kitty. There we go. You could potentially have 10 lasers going at the same time. Uh, usually I just leave that out and then it defaults to one so that you can only have the sound playing once at any given time and it doesn't overlap itself. Uh, so now switching back to GitHub, you'll see there's actually a, if you scroll down, there's intel.xdk.player.playsound. I'm going to copy that in as well. And that's, you see where it says button laser, your code goes here. So when we press the button, that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to copy the same file there. So audio slash laser dot wave. Um, and now what I'm going to show you is how you can quickly generate Um, just quick sound effects to test with. So bfxr.net. Um, now you have to have Flash for this or you can download the standalone one. But basically, this lets you create different sound effects. So there's a laser. Good. Uh, so I'm just going to rename that one just laser and then click on export wave. And I'm going to choose um, my folder. For that to go. Oops. Let's just uh, create a folder, new folder. And I'm going to call that folder audio. And I'm creating that inside the soundboard thing. And uh, and then I'm going to save it there. Um, good. So we'll go back into design. Now, here's the weird thing about using audio inside of an Android app in, um, in XDK. Is you go to emulate and it's not going to do anything. It's not going to seem like it's doing anything when you hit it. Even if you select an Android device to test, you're not going to hear anything. Uh, you kind of have to just trust that it's going to work. So next I'm going to go to build. I'm going to build it for crosswalk for Android. Click on build. It's going to upload um, all of my files. Then I'm going to click on build app now. And we wait. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, if you wanted, you could hook up your, um, once the build is done, if you want, you can hook up your device by USB and you can download the Crosswalk APKs and you can install it there. Or like I said, you can go into your email and you can see there maybe if it's not too bright. Yeah, it, that's way too bright. Anyway, so it says download your thingamaboober. Uh, it says download it with a secure link. Oops. And then um, because I'm on an ARM device, uh, I'm going to use the ARM architecture download. It'll tell me it could potentially harm my device. I'm going to download it anyway. All right, it's downloading. It says it has two minutes left. Hopefully it won't actually take that long. Fifty-four seconds. It's really gonna take that long. I think it's because I started downloading two files. So slow. I'll have to cut all this out. 
I'm going to pose and like uh, looking, watching it. Hmm. Okay, so now it's installing uh, and hopefully I had the four cents to, I had the sense to cut that out. We're going to hit open. Big moment of triumph here. So I have a laser. So even though it didn't work in the simulator, you can hear that it's working here. And uh, so yeah, that's the, I mean, it's pretty easy to add in uh, sounds to your uh, Android um, app. And uh, that's how you trigger them. So hopefully that helps you, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.